So you're getting ready to finish your basement, but you're not sure if it's worth the investment. This is a question we get quite often when someone reaches out to our company. Josh, is it going to be worth remodeling my basement if I want to sell my home in three, five, seven years from now? We're going to talk about two types of ROI today. One may be obvious, the second one may not be so obvious, but we're going to break down what kind of return on investment you should be able to get in your area. And we're also going to talk about some factors to consider when it comes to finishing your basement to get the best ROI. So we've scoured the internet and we've pulled from several sources like this old house, remodeling magazine, Punchless USA, and we're pretty much coming up with the same numbers when it comes to remodeling your basement. Now on average in the United States, about 70% of a remodel is recouped over time with a basement remodel. Now that is not 100% figured out as far as the length of time that goes by. Of course, there's factors like the market, what the market will bear in your area, what kind of housing market you're looking at, what are the comparables in your neighborhood, is your basement what's called below or above grade, or is it is it just a standard basement with no walkout? Sometimes a walkout or a, a part of a basement that's above grade is actually worth a little bit more. So let's do some simple math. I know how to use a tape measure, so I think I can handle this. <laughs> so let's start with an investment of $100,000 for a basement. Now we're gonna break this down into like its simplest terms to make it easy to understand the long-term ROI. And when we say ROI, we mean like selling the home. Now let's start with $100,000. Let's say you're gonna invest that and that you're gonna get maybe 50% back. Let's just keep it conservative. We're only gonna get 50% back when we go to sell the home. Now let's say we're gonna sell it in about eight years. That leaves us with 6250 a year for an investment for the basement. Now if you break that down into a day, that's only $17 a day to actually enjoy your basement, have this space that you're actually gonna spend to have this space. So the last bit of ROI we did not talk about yet is really the lifestyle ROI that you're gonna get from remodeling your basement. Now, if you take the example we just did, $17 a day to really change your lifestyle really isn't that much. If you think about it, you might spend more than that on lunch or a coffee at the local store. So really consider, besides when I go to sell my home, What's it worth to me? What's it worth to my family? What's it worth to my lifestyle to actually renovate this space? A lot of our clients are actually creating in-law suites, additional bedrooms, another bathroom. Maybe they have a growing family, but they need that extra bathroom. So having the extra bathroom added downstairs makes it that much easier for them to have that flexibility. Or maybe they just need more storage or just another living space or a place to go. Uh, we've had some clients who have some young teenagers and they, need, they finally need that space a little bit away from home. I have young kids as sad as that would make me. <laughs> uh, they need that space away from home, like downstairs, but they're still home to really just kind of have their own independence, flexibility. So there's a lifestyle change that comes with renovating your basement that can make it better for you. So really consider that. Maybe that $17 a day that you're not gonna recoup is still worth making your life a lot better. So I'm Josh Gad, boys. Thanks for checking us out. We really would appreciate a subscribe. If you could hit that subscribe button, we're gonna do our best to keep getting you this content. And you can email me at josh at renovisaconstruction.com if you have any additional questions. Stay tuned for the next videos.